Hello and welcome. I'm James Normington of New Park Hall Chambers and this session is brought to you by MBL Seminars. Today we're going to look at the validity of wills in Europe, the latest positions for private client practitioners. And as part of this session we're going to look at kind of four core questions. The first is how the European succession regulations stand presently. We're then going to address the question of when Europe, are European assets not governed by the succession regulations? We're then going to ask the question and provide the answer as to what happens if a client owns property in the European Union. This, of course, is becoming more and more popular with clients owning real property in France, Spain, Italy, and so on and so forth. And then we're going to look at the issue of how we deal with all of that and the, the practical application of drafting and making sure we have a validly drafted will. So coming to the question of what do we what do we as practitioners need to do? Do we need to redraft wills? Do we need to um, start all over again? What have we learned so far in the last 40 minutes or so? Certainly one thing that stands out from the case law that we've just reviewed is that wills should be made in contemplation or consideration of the regulations. And the effective date of the regulations is important. As we saw with our Lithuanian case there, the case the point being that the will made in Lithuania significantly predated the implementation of the regulation. So it's made in 2013, and two years later the regulations came into being. Doesn't mean that the, the regulations hadn't been in contemplation. They've been in contemplation for many, many years, but as is often the case with the European regulations, it takes a considerable amount of time to reach the level of where an actual regulation becomes enforceable rather than being in the draft form. 